the hood, boy. We're in the hood. I county lounge. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. Getting it on the dining today, boy. Getting close to Christmas. Have you been naughty or nice? I think I've been pretty good. Trying to be anyway. What do we got there? Ah, uh, that is a jet. Jet bike made to look like a fucking Harley. So anyway, we're going through uh, a festive part of town. Down here uh, near the ship plant. Which uh, every year there's a, there's a football game between Essex and Dundalk to see who actually wins the ship plant. You guys probably can't see that in the distance. It's a bunch of cranes, but uh, over that way where I'm pointing is what we refer to the ship plant. And Essex and Dundalk have a football game to see who owns it because uh, during parts of the year, ha, the smell is pretty fucking bad. It's always a contingent in this neighborhood. Well, who owns the ship plant? Pretty funny. Guess they could be fighting over worse things. At least they're not fist fighting, but uh, taking it to a good old fashioned football game. And it's not like that fag, I mean, uh, flag football game. Um, it's real football. No touches. Uh, straight up, knock your fucking teeth out football. And uh, so, anyway, I'm gonna go down here and see one of my buddies. Come on out there, truck. And uh, I'm gonna go down to uh, the Ville Inc. Oh, there you go. There's the two football or big tits, we call them. It's full of nothing but shit. And uh, so, I'm gonna go down to uh, see my buddy who owns a tattoo shop. I ain't seen him in a while. I want to shoot the shit with him. Ha! <laughs> the shit, you get it? And, uh, see what's going on. And, uh, that's a, really probably about it. I want to try and get down here a little early. The sun, the sun goes down now. Jeez, it was, uh, 4.30, so the days are really short. So you're getting up, and it's, come on in there, uh, Come on down there, Dodge. Hey, shake that go. Whoa. You motherfucker, you. Did you guys see that? He fucking cut me off like that, that ignorant motherfucker. I swear, I wish I could throw a grenade on people like that sometimes. I don't know if you guys saw that or not because my, my helmet was probably pointed down trying to figure out how I wasn't going to hit that guy. That guy did a U-turn right in front of me. Gave me no time to break whatsoever. That's why I tell you guys, this town they will hit you and cut you off in a heartbeat. They don't give a shit. And I guarantee you, he doesn't think he did anything wrong. He's lucky I'm not kicking his fucking goddamn window in right now. Cocksucker. Alright, I need to calm down. Anyway, I'm going to go down here see my boy Tony DeVille at DeVille Inc. And uh, shoot the shit with him. And uh, say a Merry Christmas to him. I don't know when I'm going to put this up. So if this is up after Christmas, eat a bag of dicks. But uh, I don't mean that, guys. I mean it in a, in a loving way. I'm a little pissed off still. My temper's uh, a little elevated after that fucking Momo cut me the fuck off. I even slowed down and the cocksucker even want to come up even say he was sorry. 
so uh i hope everybody had uh, a great christmas is going to have a great christmas and uh a safe new year I want to shout out to my boy connor he's getting his diner together it's really shaping up really well and um christ every time i uh look at instagram he's rubbing it in that it's like 75 degrees i ain't seen a 75 degree day in a while be kind of nice to see one be kind of odd though this time of year see a 75 degree day but uh i'm getting towards the city here i think i'm i'm actually at the city line now and uh traffic is gonna get stupid for hey what's up girl look at that guy that guy's there all the time how you doing pal it's horrible he's got a fucked up back i see him he's always begging for cigarettes so i go in that wawa store over there and buy him a pack of cigarettes not that smoking's good but geez oh whiz if you're fucked up like that you probably don't have any uh you probably don't have any you probably don't have i should say too many joys in life and if i go uh, if cigarettes are one of his joys and just to kind of make his day everybody should try and go out of their way to help everybody even if you don't disagree or i should say even if you don't agree man i'm all fucked up today i'm sure that's gonna get some comments in the section i've had some real cool comments i've had some really uh weird comments i had one dude tell me to look at google what's up man and uh that just tells me how old he is look at google if i gotta look at google bro I got problems. I try and find shit out on my own. Try not to refer to the internet to look for something. But, you know, from time to time, you got to do that. But uh, I had some guy trying to tell me what shit was off of one of my videos. And that actually spurred into an argument for a couple guys on the... That are uh, faithful viewers, which I appreciate. But everybody's got a right to their opinion. You say tomato, I say tomato. And... Uh, it is what it is but uh i uh i'm not saying everybody should get along because we're not always going to get along we should disagree and that's what spurs up good conversation that's what makes things uh good i also want to stress to you guys man you guys need to fucking buy american products this walmart mentality shit has got to go you know you're keeping foreign people working. Let's keep American people working. Look at this fucking piece of shit. Look, he's got a scoop on there. He's got a fucking scoop on this truck. That is about as ghetto as it gets. Anyway, guys. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see my boy Tony. And, uh... See what's going on in the shop, steal monster out of the refrigerator. And uh wrap this one up, boys. So once again, this is Knuckle Play Club where we don't talk about puppy because we're on probation. And we'll see you soon.